Okay, what's up everybody? My name is Philip. I'm here with, you know, the crew and Susanda. Most of you guys know him, some don't and stuff like that. And this is the crew. So we're here in Maboneng interviewing some people, you know, asking them how Maboneng is, Maboneng life and what they like and stuff like that and how they feel about Maboneng. So I'm going to ask Mr. Susanda to, you know, to tell you guys, you know, how he feels about Maboneng, what he does you know, you know, and stuff like that. So how's the vibe for you? You know, do you come here often? Do you live around? Yeah, we have uh, we have offices just upstairs, and yeah. Sundays are a refreshing day because you know, everyone comes out, and uh, it's it, it's a whole museum of people. So yeah. you could just uh, enjoy the people and all everything that's on sale, really, the art, and it's also it's a nice melting pot of different people from around the continent and even around the world. Yeah. So. Uh, Mabone, how would you rate it? I mean, apart from other places like you know, Santon, Rosebank, Brampton, <laughs> and stuff. Like it's, it's a question that people now are yeah, starting to ask because yeah. Mabone is now starting to vibe and you know cause a lot of commotion. It's know, actually, yeah. you know, what's so cool about Mabone? It's I feel like it's very Afrocentric and modern without having become completely European. Like like Santon City nowadays, it's like you could be on Rodeo Drive. It's like you know, it doesn't. But this this place still has a lot of I think what's uh, real about you know yeah, yeah, the yeah. buildings and you know the the architecture particularly around. on Sundays as well. Mm. But it's a nice it's a it's a modern and um, even urbanized African, but still very much African. So I love that about it. So it, completely different from San Yeah. And man, look, I love your outfit, and I just wanted to ask, man, what's like. What inspired you behind the album? <laughs> Why did you put this on? But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Straight. There's a couple of guys that inspire me style-wise. Yeah. yeah. I what I love about these guys that inspire me is that they're comfortable in their own skin. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, Lenny Kravitz, even um, uh, Beckham, the footballer. Yeah, yeah Beck, and, Beckham. And there's a guy called Rafael Sadiq, who's a musician as well. Yeah. The guys with different styles, and any day they could look so different, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's. But then, you know, it's yeah. they come with their skin. Yeah, it's yeah, them. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like. Uh, I so for me, it's just chilled and it's. Yeah. Uh, it's an awesome outfit, man. Shout. So, do you, nice, like, any of you guys have anything to yeah, ask? Yeah, for him? me, like, okay, for the guys out there who don't know who you really are, like, what do you do? So uh, I make film and television, I act and I direct, uh, I've hosted a couple of TV shows in Zanzi and uh, yeah, I'm working on a feature film at the moment to do a, uh, I'm one of the directors on a telenovela which is on Zanzi Magic, so that's a drama and uh, yeah, I, I'm also acting in a, a drama on E. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I see, man, big things, eh? Right? I mean, you know, as for us, man, we just look up to you, you know? You know, that everything you're doing, just keep doing it, bro. You know, you got the youngings watching you. <laughs> youngings fast, bro. So, so yeah, you man. Thank you. Have you Good. Right. As for me, Phil, and the squad, thank you guys for coming. This has been a Amato Photo.